Lunches of Love is a summer uh, lunch and activity program for the students in Mount Vernon who qualify for free and reduced lunch during the school year. And we start after summer school and then go in, in August until school starts again. Miss Tom, we got more kids coming. We have our buses and vans that run a route uh, every day to pick the students up and bring them here. Uh, we have all different kinds of activities. Uh, we've had puppet shows, um, cooking, sewing. Um, one of their favorite activities is when Lowe's comes, Lowe's Distribution Center, and they bring crafts for them to do. And that they all have a great time. They're always asking when is Lowe's coming back. And it's a time when they get to hammer and make lots of noise and then really see a, a fun finished product that they've made. So that's one of their favorites. Hi, I'm Amy Ford and I'm with Communities and Schools. I am, uh, started with Lunches of Love about three years ago. I uh, work in the school district as a social worker slash counselor. Uh, Susan Sample, she called me up and uh, we started talking about if there was a need for children in the summertime to have a place to go to have food to eat and uh, fun activities. I, th I told her I thought there was a need and uh, we got it all together in less than a month for the first year, first summer. This is our third summer. With the great support of this community, people coming in and donating money, food, their time. I've never seen such a great town to come in and support the children and uh, each other. Uh, we had more children than Titus County. Uh, even the first year that we started this program, we had over 60 plus uh, children coming every day. Uh, now, I think we've up to 75 consistently we have come and we go pick up the children around town this is with the, the effort of other churches donating their buses uh, we have volunteers that come from all over the community uh, we have um, cornerstone for example provides their vans for transportation and they have since the since we began the program uh, we have groups from the methodist church the baptist church the catholic church uh, the tall tree uh, organization so and the rotary club we also have volunteers that um, come in to do Bible study with the children. Every day they start their day with a Bible story and then um, either have lunch or do their activities. The Lake Chapel Church, which um, comes every Thursday, and they've brought their puppets to um, do puppet shows for the younger children. Uh, we even had a group this year that came from Houston that was on a mission trip and stopped and helped us for a, a week. They were with their youth and they came the first week and helped us out the whole week. We believed that it was important for it to be community-based, faith-based, and to have a nutritious hot lunch that was served every day. It gives them food. It's amazing how many children come in here and go back for not just seconds, third, fourth helpings. Miss Virginia, she makes sure they have home-cooked meals, vegetables, fruits. Every day she's teaching them about a new fruit. So we try to have well-balanced hot meals for the children all week long. I'm Virginia Smith and I am in charge of the kitchen for Lunches of Love. We also have a lot of farmers that have participated with our program um, in helping to provide food. We receive watermelon from one farmer, um, peaches from another, and we have uh, a man this year who donated um, beef from a cow on his farm. So we have um, donations that come in lots of ways. Uh, we are funded by donations, and starting this year we were funded by 
uh, United Way and will be again next year. Uh, but other than that, all of our money comes from donations. Lunches of Love has been a true blessing from God. It, um, they're absolutely wonderful. And in their fellowship, we get to share the Word of God with these children. They get to sit down and we pray and they hear Bible stories. It's, it's just absolutely wonderful. And again, I cannot thank the community and the effort of everybody that volunteers because it's just simply a volunteer and donation program.